Two countries will enter. Only one can come out as world champions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's episode of the My Player Career Mode. It is the biggest by far that we are going to see so far in the series. It is the World Cup final. England take on Belgium. Is it coming home or will it fall short of the final hurdle? Today, we're going to find out. And as the previews are shown on your screen, we can confirm the third place playoff, which was played out between Germany and Argentina, ended with Germany winning it by three goals to one. So Germany were able to make sure that they have got themselves the third place in this one. Now then, how did both teams get here? Today, we're going to be showing you the full game. That is the full game live. Both sides got here, as you can see. We faced off against Germany. Winning 2-0 in the semi-finals. And Belgium faced off against Argentina. Winning 2-0 there as well. For the quarter-finals, it was England who advanced against France. Um, and eventually Belgium over Brazil. Round of 16, we beat Colombia. Brazil, oh sorry, Belgium uh, beat Slovenia. And that's how both teams got here. Like I said, you're seeing the full game today. 10 minutes per half, which means there's 20 minutes of action plus coming your way for this World Cup final. Hopefully you're all watching this as well. Um... As soon as it drops so that they can't be too many spoilers. I will say now, do not check the comment section. Because that's the big thing that I don't want you guys doing is spoiling it for you. So, here we go then. Full game. Live commentary. I'm going to be dead after this. But that's the side we've got going into game. I'm going to let it all play out so we can really feel today's... Well, today's event, let's call it. Like I said, two countries go in. Only one team can come away victorious. Ten minutes a half. Let's do it. Right then, guys, the stage is set. I just realised as we were coming into this that we're not actually getting to see the teams pop up on the screen. But as you can see, ground is stacked. It is full inside the arena. On the left-hand side, there's the Belgian fans. On the right, there was the England fans. They've swapped around now because the camera angle on the other side must have been on the other way when we looked at that. But one nation will come away victorious. It's the first time we've done a full live game in the series. Can you feel the tension you can hear the it's coming home chance already. And as the boys are already out, Belgium taking a little bit longer. You can see they're not quite set yet. They're still in their little huddle talking it out. And now they eventually come onto the screen. It's going to be Harry Kane to get the World Cup final underway. Unfortunately, like I said, we didn't actually get to see the, uh, the Belgium side. So I'm going to pause it here and we can take a look at it so we know exactly who we're against. Former teammate in uh, Eden Hazard lines up against us. Michi Batshuayi and Romelu Lukaku make up the front three alongside that. Carrasco, KFDB, Tieli Mans and Yanazai as a midfield four. And Adavir El Dendonka and Michele as a back three with Courtois in goal. Beaten Courtois already. Obviously the Real Madrid goalkeeper who scored a couple of goals against him this season in the La Liga. But we are underway for the World Cup final. And as it is fully live, there will be no editing out of this one. So I'm going to have to make sure that I remember to keep talking. Don't want to have any, you know, periods of time where we sat there in complete silence. As Kyle Walker already, early doors, goes down the right-hand side. Put the cross in, Kyle. Give me something to have a go at. Don't lose it. You've done the hard bit. Kyle Walker goes over the top of the crossbar. So, like I said, 10 minutes halves. A long, long way to go. There's going to be chances galore. It's probably going to be quite a decent scoring final, this. And I'm hoping we'll get a couple of chances ourselves as well. Just a bit concerned there because Kyle Walker did have the opportunity to put the cross in. But instead, he chose to kind of turn away. Don't know what he was trying to do as Carrasco finds Hazard towards Lukaku. Lukaku to Batshuayi. Belgium inside the first couple of minutes are going to get on the ball. Early doors, Lukaku shot. Safe by Pickford. Could have caught it. He could have caught it. Let's put it that way. Jordan Pickford really could have caught that. It's offside anyway. Doesn't matter. I didn't even see the offside flag go up. So, uh, let Pickford off for it. But like I said, needs to be on form today, Jordan Pickford. So does Loftus-Cheek. And he starts today. Picked up a red card not so long ago. Ball through. Pickford, come out and get that. Thank you. Like I said, Loftus-Cheek. Red carded not so long ago for a straight red. It was against the French. And we came on to win that one. Deli Ali flicks the ball. Come on, boys. Early doors. Let's get a good opportunity straight up here. It's not the touch I was looking for. That really wasn't the touch I was looking for. Um, I'm going to be honest. I tried ball rolling that. But for some reason, I decided to take a heavy, heavy touch. Thierry Mans inside to KDB. Eden Hazard. Now, you guys remember <clears throat> how Eden performed over at Chelsea when we were there. He was atrocious, all right? He was absolutely abysmal. 
So if it turns and transpires that he is the reason Belgium win today, I am going to be so angry. That's poor. Bashuai now with a chance to go inside and John Stone steps in. Can't be giving the ball away like that against this side. Not a chance. Like that again, Deli Ali now doing it. This is what I'm talking about. We cannot be affording to give the ball away like that. Other side of this as well is that I have to, you know, remain patient. There's going to be moments when it's going to be quite tough this as we pick up the ball now. Wait for the run of Harry Kane. It didn't really come. Tried to play the ball through. Still got it through Harry Winks. Now Kane. The two Harrys combine. Kane again down the right. It's back inside. I was not expecting that ball to come all the way through to me. We sent it through to Winks. Winks is touch. Still Harry Winks trying to make his way through. Club teammate Oliveira stops that in its tracks though. And they get away with it. I mean, like I said, this is going to be a really, really long game. And there are going to be moments where I will have to sit quietly for a couple of seconds. Just to kind of regain a little bit. And hopefully you guys are enjoying your start to the year, 2019, of course. I mean, ultimately, this is going to be a big, big year. But more importantly, right here, I want to start off with a World Cup win. You know what I'm saying? Luke Shaw, come on, boys. Let's get on the front foot. Loftus-Cheek inside. Still waiting for somebody to go up there. It's Harry Winks in the end who's giving us the run. Loftus-Cheek again. Deli Ali. Loftus-Cheek. Don't give the ball away cheaply. Shaw. Back towards Ali. Ali. See what I mean? It's this area here on the pitch where we need to use this ball effectively. Winks out wide. Towards Shaw, Shaw, Loftus-Cheek picks it up though. That was lucky because for a second, we were in a bit of trouble there. We've got, what? oh, now I'm doing it. What am I doing? I don't know what that was from me. That should have been a simple pass. Oliveira got very lucky there because for a second, I thought Kyle Walker had stolen that. But Shuai now for, for the Belgians. We're only 15 minutes into this game and we played like a solid five minutes already. Kane, Kane, inside. Need to wait for the run to come in and help me out a little bit. Kyle, where are you? There he is on the overlap. Send it to Walker. Walker needs a good cross in. Just dink it. There is the delivery. Oh, it was close. It was just slightly behind me. There's a Mexican wave going on out there, by the way, at the minute. But that pass from Walker was slightly behind where I was running. If he'd got it a little bit better, would have been chance number one. We're 16 minutes in and there's been no clear-cut chance yet as Courtois catches the corner. Still awaiting the first one of the match. Belgium carry it forward with Eden Hazard. Like I said, he better not play well today. Still Hazard and Carrasco linking up. The three at the back from Belgium as well is going to be an interesting factor. Because if we get going forward early doors, I don't think they can contend with our attacking threat. Especially if we, you know, get an, a goal in the first half. That's come off of Deli Alley though. That's going to be a Belgian throw in. Which they're going to take kindly. Lovely ball through. Hazard now has a chance to put the cross in. There it is. Well defended. Well defended. Because uh, that's not easy against Lukaku that. And now we have a chance to break away with England up the other end. Harry Kane, inside he is now. Finding its pass back towards Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek back towards Winks. This is what I mean. It's so tight in there. Winks inside again. Don't really like the way he played that. But we found Deli Ali. Ali, lovely touch. Got a little bit of space now. Deli Ali, finally the cross back. It's Harry Kane! England 1, Belgium 0. 20 minutes into this World Cup final. And it's Harry Kane who has his say in the game. Deli Ali's dink inside, and there is Kane with the header. Excuse me, I had to cough. 20 minutes of me just sat here talking gibberish, but it's gone in the back of the net, and Harry Kane has given us the lead in this game. Oh my goodness me. We have 70 more minutes to go, though, and that will not be the end score. I can put money on it right now. Tielemans trying to get Belgium going again. Like I said, they're playing the three at the back. It's now going to be very interesting to see what kind of changes they make to this game because they're 1-0 down and you know arguably they have an attacking outset because their team is very attack minded Kane towards Winks Winks does just enough to push that through to us as well backwards towards off to Cheek Walker still available for him if he wants to use it look at the space on the other side there for sure it's actually gone all the way through towards Ali Ali fix it first time looking for the runner Harry Kane imagine if he'd have got on that Kane and put it 2-0 that would have been the dream Oliveira clears away though to Eden Hazard and at the minute, the Belgians look a little bit shook. They're going to need to try and compose themselves and get themselves back in this very, very quickly. Looks pretty confident so far. And I think my game plan right now is to sit back here and mop up kind of loose balls and let Harry Kane be the advanced striker. And that way, you know, defensively, we look a little bit more sound, especially now that the Belgians need to come forward. Thierry Mann's trying to do that. Luke Shaw defends brilliantly, but Harry Maguire gives the ball away in the end. Now about Shuai's cross in. Lascelles looks second favourite there, but he still managed to get something on it. And it's now Batshuayi again. Lukaku is their main man in there. He's their intended target on nearly every single cross. Kane, Winks. Winks, send it through. Look at that ball from Harry Winks. And now we have a chance one-on-one -on -one here. Look potentially to get it against Courtois. There's the strike. He's hit the woodwork. 
Oh, that is heartbreaking. Did everything right. We did everything right. Turned inside. I'm not even sure who it was. Was it Oda Vierald? One of the two defenders, or one of the three centre-backs, I should say. Turned inside of them, and then it was all about trying to find that finesse shot finish. Harry Kane wins a flick on. We're going to lose that, unfortunately. Off the crossbar. We could have been two inside 30 minutes. We really could have. And are we going to come back to rue that miss? Oh, time will tell, but... Genuinely, I thought that was going to be 2 0. Yanazai and Batshuayi trying to link up. They're giving the ball away a little bit too easy, the Belgians. That's a good ball in, though, Hazard. First real opportunity of the game for them. Pickford, it's an easy catch. Makes it look very easy, too. Gives me a little bit more confidence in our goalkeeper after that. I just can't believe we missed that chance where we hit the crossbar. But still, brush ourselves down, compose ourselves again. There will be more opportunities. Kane towards Shaw. That's brilliant football again from England. Where's Luke Shaw going to go with this, though? Looking to go back inside, which he does towards Winks. Poor first touch from Harry Winks, and the ball has left his foot. And I know I said I wasn't going to edit it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to like edit the bits where I take a breath or have to cough or anything, because that's going to happen. I've got a bit of a cold at the minute. So <clears throat> there are going to be occasions when I have edited it, but I'm hoping to leave a lot more of the game in too. I mean, what can I do from this situation right now other than try and keep hold of the ball? Because there wasn't really anybody in front of me. Winks with the one-two. Didn't really want it straight back. Kane got a bit lucky to still have that. Not going to lie. Deli Alley. Send Shaw. Shaw, send me. Am I onside? Let's see if I've remained onside. No. Just offside. This is going to be close, you know. This is going to be very, very close. Yeah. I mean, it's not as close as I thought. <laughs> That's a lie. All right. Well, <clears throat> back underway then. 34 minutes gone. Here's Eden Hazard looking to try and go forward now. Still looking for a way back into the game, the Belgians. And if it's going to come, you feel like Hazard's going to have to create. Is that an offside? Grasco's ball in. I think it was Maguire away. KDB wins the 50-50 battle against us. Finds his pass to Yanazai. That was not a clean strike from Adnan Yanazai, but it still nearly was on target. And Pickford seemed rooted for some strange reason there. It didn't seem like he had that totally covered. I mean, like I said, it wasn't the cleanest shot in the world from Yanazai. So if it had have beaten him, we'd have problems. There's Luke Shaw now on the left for England. Ah, I don't know what you're trying to do there, Luke. I didn't make that run. So quite interesting with the pass. But if you're going to do that, I'd rather you do it there than do it when you're in your defensive standpoint. That's to be said. Batshuayi again. I don't want to drop too deep, though. That's one thing I've got to be careful of, is dropping way too deep. As it's now Tielli Mans to put the cross in again. Lascelles, important interception to put it out for a corner. I am not liking this. Every cross that comes in from Belgium, I'm sort of thinking maybe that Lukaku's going to get on one of the end of the one of them. So it's not every time the ball comes in, my heart kind of goes a little bit. Hazard again. What on earth is that from Eden Hazard? That's the Chelsea Hazard that we were used to seeing. And thank goodness he's here again today for Belgium. Winks, Walker, Loftus-Cheek. I'm available, but what can I do with this? Back towards Winks. Ali, Deli Ali looking for the ball through. That is a great pass from Ali. We need Kane in the box. Come on, Harry. Get yourself in there. I'll just think that. Get on the end of that. Oh, important interception. I think it was Michele. I'm not sure. But Lukaku now brings this under control. Don't tell me they're going to score from our attempted attack. Tielli Mans. We're four or so minutes away from half time, plus injury time, of course. But we haven't actually had that many injuries. So I don't think there'll be that much injury time. Stones, Lascelles, Maguire, Winks, Loftus Cheek, Ruben looks over the top. I'm going to chase this all day and try and get on the end of it. And we have done. Ruben sends us in. Looking to cut back on the left foot. We've done that as well. Off the line. It's cleared off the line. I can't believe this. We've hit the crossbar. Now it's cleared off the line. Loftus cheek. Winks. Harry Winks. Sets it. We got a chance to put this in. That was not the cross that I went for. I was looking for Harry Kane. That was the guy I was trying to hit. But somehow I nearly sent it to, to Delhi Alley. And I don't know why, because I didn't mean to do that. Shaw wins a flick on. Came back to Shaw. Shaw trying to put the cross in. Free kick ref. Apparently not, even though he was impeded. That should have been a free kick. Still cleared off the line. We've hit the crossbar. What more do I need to score? was three minutes additional time as well, just to let you guys know. I don't know where that's come from. Walker sends it inside again. Left footed, a chance to put the cross in again. There it is again. Oh, I can't get on the end of it, Deli Alley. Comes to Loftus Cheek though. Cheek back towards us. Dragged it. Now we've got Walker. There is Kyle. A little one two with Kyle Walker. We're inside the box. Fake shot back inside. There's. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the pass again that I was going for. Tell you what, I have not really done very well so far in this first half. Hit the crossbar. I had that one cleared off the line, and then a couple of my crosses and passes, etc., have been pretty poor. But on another day, if I'd have got right, we, we would have been like 3 0 in front. Don't let them score right before the half time whistle, though. Carrasco 
gets the ball under control. And at half time, it is England 1, Belgium nil in the World Cup final. But it's not for the want of us trying to go 2 in from. Belgium very lacklustre in this first half. But as time goes on, they're going to have to start to commit a few more men forward. And as it goes, for a 10 minutes half, I don't think that's been the greatest first half of football from either side. So things need to improve from both sets of team. But whatever it's 1-0, we don't really care how bad it is as long as it stays 1-0. Okay, we're back on the way as well for the second half now. As long as we do what we did in the first, we should be okay. Like I said, we dominated most of the play. It was just my final ball was off. Lost to Sheik wins that tackle. Comes towards Lukaku, back to Hazard. Now 1-2 with him. Lukaku waits for the run to come in. A little bit too late, but Carrasco's going to be found nonetheless. Trying to put the cross in. Walker gets it, and that should be Pickford's to clear away. It is. If Kane can win the flick on, we're in behind. We are. Oh, my goodness me. Kane wins the flick on. Nah, I've got to score this now. I have to finish this. Come on, boys. We have to finish it, and finish it we do. England 2, Belgium 0. World Cup final. Went through one-on-one. -on -one. I was just praying I did not miss there. What a flick on from Harry Kane as well. Have to give him credit for this because it's the setup on the way through that is really the good bit about this. Look at that. And the finish, one on one with Courtois. He was caught in two minds. Does he come out? Does he stay on his line? But from England's point of view, this is massive. Game advantage towards England. 2 0 in front. 40 or so minutes to go. Defensively, need to be sound now. Can we do it? Can we do it? It's our eighth goal of this World Cup. Not only are we going to win it, we potentially will get the golden boot as well. I think Harry Kane is up there with us too. So one goal from him today. And of course, a goal for us. Don't know how close it, how close it actually is at the minute. But all I know is that we had 2 0 up in a World Cup final. Kane trying to give him it back straight away. One, two. Oh, imagine if I got through there. That would have been something else. Batshuayi, Yanazai. Belgium certainly need to find something now. Something has got to come for them. Literally anything. Just a scrappy goal. Somebody just put the ball in for them is basically what they need. Because at this stage, 2-0 down in the World Cup final. And we look more likely to get another goal. Kane. Ali. <sighs> Poor from Deli Ali. But Kane wins it back. Kane. <sighs> yeah, he's also trying to find us. And he's also giving it away. 51 minutes in though. And like I said, it's just about trying to hold on. Yanazai for Belgium. And we're looking to keep this clean sheet. Yanazai cuts inside on the left foot. Back down on the right. Shaw doing bits. Well done, Luke Shaw. Defensively, it's sound there. Lovely ball over from Winks as well. Sets up on the attack. We can go to Ali. Ali can wait for a run to come in. He finds Walker instead. I'm still on side. Kyle Walker. Oh, brilliant. Loftus Sheik plays him. Walker hit the cross. There is the cross. And there's it going to be 3-0 England. Oh, that is just sensational play. Walker, where are you going? I'm trying to celebrate with you, man. What's he doing? I mean, I'll run away now too as well. England 3, Belgium 0 in the World Cup final. Kyle Walker's cross converted by us for our ninth of this World Cup campaign. Courtois is just not having a great day at the office. But it's has to be said, from Belgium's point of view, they have not turned up here. And when you go with the three at the back against myself and Harry Kane, who are at the minute two of the world's best strikers, you're asking for a few problems, especially if the balls from the wide areas can be converted like that. 54 minutes, it's a double for us, and it's a third for England. Wow, I am shell-shocked by the way that Belgium have played, but not only that, how convincing we've been in our finishes. They have to find something now, man. Give your fans something to shout about. Eden, it's got to come from you. Carrasco on the left for the Belgians, tries to put the cross in. It's Walker blocking it, that's the difference. Like I said, we've converted our crosses. They've hit Walker, and that's a win from Harry Kane. Kane backwards, send it through. Oh, I should have played it through, Winks. I'd made the run. Winks, Ali, back towards Winks. It's given away from England's point of view, but I'll happily give it away at there, provided we don't go on to win the game. That's not free kick, says referee. That's surprising. I thought that was 100% a free kick. We did just foul Yanazai, but he's played on the ref. Look at the space for Walker. Look at the space for Walker. Puts the cross in this time, though. It is poor, and it's straight to Courtois. 32 minutes remain. Still zero changes from the Belgians, though. And uh, time will tell. Time will tell if they should make one. Tieli Mans. Out wide to Yanazai. Just defend the cross that comes in. Lukaku is the danger man. Just make sure he doesn't get on the end of this. In fact, it didn't even come in from Yanazai there. Now it has. There's Lukaku. First chance to remember Lukaku pulls the Belgians back. Like I said, you can't allow him in the box that time. Because he will pounce like that. That is the first time that they've been able to get the ball into the box from across. And they should be doing it more. You can see the danger. They were crossing in the first half. And my genuinely... 
My heart was going a little bit when they were putting the crosses in because it was like a matter of a few inches from Lukaku getting on the end of one. He's now got on the end of one and he makes no mistake with his header. Pickford tries his best, but he can't get enough on it to keep that out. And it's England three, Belgium one, and we still have 25 minutes to go here. It is not game set a match yet. Although, for England, if you lose it from 3-0 up, you have to say you don't really deserve to be in front. So we just need to defend for two more goals, effectively. Deli Ali is going to find our feet here, running through from Luke Shaw. Lay him off. I can't believe we let them back in the game. Luke Shaw, towards the edge of the area where we're currently waiting. Loftus-Cheek on the overlap. And we've hit Loftus-Cheek, who sent it wide of that bottom corner. 23 minutes remain of the 90 minutes here. England three, Belgium one. And we're looking at this thinking to ourselves, is there going to be one twist in this tail? Is there still going to be a Belgian fight back? I mean, they look dangerous when they put the crosses in. Like I said, they just haven't been able to convert a lot of crosses. That's their problem. Lukaku, Batshuayi, I remember still no change from them either. Really bizarre that they're yet to make a change. And we're 70 minutes in and it's still no changes. Jeez. Luke Shaw towards Deli Ali. Ali's going to find Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin, players down the line. As long as I keep the whole ball, the ball, we're fine. Inside towards Winks. Poor first touch, but he finds Calvert-Lewin. Ball roll. Lovely stuff from Calvert-Lewin. And still Calvert-Lewin. And he finds Winks, whose shot comes in. Tiedemann's yeah, blocks it. Calvert-Lewin again. Offside. Wouldn't have counted. Courtois is going to hap that. Lofts his cheek. Ali. Calvert-Lewin sends it. Now we can lay it one more. There is Walker. Oh, it's actually Alexander Arnold's come on now. Brilliant change from Southgate, that. I believe that is a brilliant change. That's a great ball as well. It should have been 4-1 England. Harry Winks again. Oh, Winks, Winks, Winks. Should have been 4-1. Good change, though, from Southgate. Actually, Walker off and Alexander Arnold on. Fresh legs at right back. Um, I think that's great because, as well, you've got to think, they look deadly from crosses. So if there's going to be a chance, it's going to come from a cross. And I think Alexander Arnold is, uh, is hopefully going to be able to one-on-one -on -one defend a little bit better than maybe Carl Walker would be able to. Sell's going to pick this up from our corner. Find Stones. Stones lays it across. It's getting ever so closer to the final whistle here. As Luke Shaw. Back inside to Ali. Ali to Calvert-Lewin. Keep hold. Don't give away the ball cheaply. Ali. Look at the space on the other side for Alexander-Arnold. Found him as well. He's onside. He's still onside here. A few of the Belgians actually did ask the referee, but nothing given. Winks. Ali. Shot again. Corner ball. And now the other change comes in. Luke Shaw off as well. So both fullbacks have been changed now. Fresh legs on either side. Very smart play from Gareth Southgate. Realising, as I said, that they look deadly from the crosses. So switch the fullbacks to, uh, to give them some fresh legs out there. Alexander Arnold and Chilwell now on for Walker and Luke Shaw. So that is our final change. And Belgium still haven't made one. They're running out of time. Winks. Now Loftus Cheek going to find us on the edge of the area. Tried one. Courtois palms it back out. Near post corner. Near post corner. Near post corner. Send it in. It's going to lose that header every day of the week. Come on, Belgium. Make your change. It's annoying me now that they haven't actually made one. Ali's delivery. Headed clear. Loftus-Cheek picks it up. Deli Ali again. Still looking for a way forward. It's not great from us. We've given it away, but I don't mind giving it away in this area. That's what I'm talking about. But still, Belgium haven't made a substitution Unless they have and I missed it, that could be it too. I mean, they finally did make one and it's their centre mid that's come off. Tielli Manz, who was actually playing not too badly. And Bastian on. They've still got Origi on the bench. They've still got quite a few decent players on the bench as well, Belgium. And they're not making the changes. So you have to question the manager here. You have to say that. Ball back down the right-hand side. Just keep hold of it here. Running into the last 10 minutes of play. Put the cross in. Blocked before he could. It's sent back in again towards Calvert-Lewin who wins the flick on. Courtois catches it very, very gladly indeed. We are into the final 10 minutes of this World Cup final. It is last chance saloon for the Belgians now who need to start sending men forward. They've got to do something to change this. Hazard. Going to try and carry them forward. If I have to defend, I will defend. Don't get me wrong. I will sit right back here. Offside against them. Another change is finally made. KDB off. What is happening? Their manager's having a nightmare. He's brought off KDB. Who's he brought on? I'm going to see this right now on this left-hand side. I don't know what he's doing. I genuinely don't know what he's doing. You need goals. Why would you bring off KDB? That is a big, big call from the Belgian manager. If it works out, fair play. If it doesn't, 
You're going to look a fool because you've taken off arguably one of your best players in KDB and substituting Dennis Pryor on his place. Ball through. Looking for us on the run. It's got to be four. We have torn them apart all day long. And there is 4-1. Game, set and match. England are going to be world champions. It is our first major win with this England side. It's looked very convincing on the day. But you know what? A lot of it has played into the fact that Belgium have just not been there. They haven't been at the races, both in their performance and managerially. The changes beg questions. So much unanswered here for the Belgians that you have to feel sorry for their fans. Because on another day, if it was the right team selection, the right substitutions made, it could have been a different story. But that looks like it's going to be England heading to their first World Cup win with us in the side. The second World Cup win ever. And it's a hat-trick in the World Cup final for us as well. I was concerned we wouldn't do it in big games. But you don't get a bigger game than this on the world stage. And we have done it today. Unbelievable stuff. Four minutes to go and it will only be a consolation. Should this go in? Yanazai! Oh! Adnan Yanazai. Wow. That was Belgium's second best chance. Oh, he's, he's so close. He's so close to scoring that. It should have come earlier for them, though. If they'd have done that at 3-1 and got that back to 3-2, then maybe. It's too late now. They're three minutes away from finishing this game. I don't see a way back into it. Loftus-Cheek trying to send us through. Oliveirel picks up the loose ball, but that's a poor pass. Misplaced straight to Calvert-Lewin, who's going to send it towards Chilwell. Inside towards us. Ben Chilwell continue that. He has done. We've sent him as well. Ben Chilwell. Ball inside. Then Donker gets underneath it. But at this point, it's just delaying the inevitable. Ali's going to lose his 50-50. But we are a minute away from being crowned world champions. Referee gets in the way as well. And I might just try... <laughs> Scenes if we'd have scored from the ref getting in the way. You need all the, all the help you can get. That ball is brilliant, by the way. Unfortunately, we couldn't win it. How much additional time to be added on? Four added minutes from the ref. I think you're being a bit generous there. Having said that, though, we have scored twice in this half, haven't we? I think. Yeah, so... Eh, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Like I said, all it's doing is delaying the inevitable. And that, that is going to be England world champions. 6pm upload for you all. Our, our second video of 2019. And what a way to start off 2019 as world champions. Honestly, I'm stoked. And we're going to win the ball back as well. Just for the, uh, the last bit of the game. Get it through. Send it. No, unfortunately, it didn't go all the way through. 40 seconds remain here. Calvert-Lewin towards Winks. Winks out wide to Alexander-Arnold. Arnold put the delivery in. Alexander-Arnold get the cross. Any moment now, the referee's going to end this game off and England will be world champions. There is the cross in. Courtois catches it. Ref, end the game. There it is. England have done it. Belgium, I feel so sorry for their fans because they were poor throughout. The managerial changes were poor. But three goals from us in the second half, plus one as well from Belgium, was enough as well for us. We get the hat trick as well in a World Cup final. My voice, by the way, at this stage is, is pretty much gone. Um, honestly, guys, I'm going to shut up now and we're just going to enjoy these scenes of England winning the World Cup. Get in!
What a moment. What a moment. <sighs> we did it, guys. We finally won something. I mean, like I said, Belgium were poor. Oh, wow. That was something else, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's episode as well. And hopefully, you enjoyed it. It been a bit more sort of, I guess, more highlighted more than anything. Because it wasn't just key today. We had everything. I pretty much have taught myself silly. Talking gibberish nonsense throughout. But a hat-trick in the World Cup final has seen us through. And what more do you need than a FIFA World Cup? We've done it. We've done what we set out. I mean, at this point, the only thing left for me to really do, barring another Champions League, is to go back, win the Premier League, because we haven't won a... We've won a World Cup before we've won a Premier League. That is insane. Absolutely insane. I also want to break Messi's record as well, because we were so close to doing it this year, until the injury happened, of course. So, yeah, I think the things left for us to do then, in this My Player Career mode, is to try and break Messi's record, and then also win a Premier League, because we get to do that. So who are we going to win a Premier League with? That is the question. But I think for the most part, um, I'm not sure about what's to come here. We'll see and we'll decide all that thing. For the most part right now, I just want to enjoy the World Cup win. Thank you all guys for watching today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you are new around here and like what you see, the subscribe button is down below. Click that to follow me on the channel. Hit the notification bell as well so you'll be notified whenever a new video goes live. And thank you all for your support in 2018. Hopefully you guys are excited for 2019 too. That's it for today though. I'll see you all again tomorrow with another video from 4pm UK time guys. Make sure to stay tuned. You don't want to miss them. Adios.